Hi, I'm Pam Fox. Thank you for watching my channel. Today's video is going to be my tips for the vegan diet, for the Rattle 4 diet, which is a diet that I did. Um, just some tips based on my own experience. So number one is to have a plan. Um, you know, you need to pick a diet, obviously, if you're thinking about doing a 30 day challenge, I did some recommendations. There's starch solution, raw till four, fruit after four, 80, 10, 10, or some good ones to look at. They're all high carb, low fat and vegan and promote healing. So pick a diet and take some time, sit down and, um, maybe at your computer or with a piece of paper and kind of develop a, pl a plan for you because everybody's different and um, the logistics are going to be different for every person, whether it's you're just going to be cooking for yourself, shopping for yourself, or if you have a family, um, it's going to be different for everybody. So you need to kind of look at what this 30-day um, challenge, for example, if you're doing a 30-day challenge, is going to look like for you and come up with a plan. So goal writing is something that I have found useful for myself. It's something I've done different periods throughout my life, but I, I did it um, this year when I started the year for the year 2015, I did some goal writing. And really all that is, is you sit down and you write out what your goals are, and then you write out um, objectives or ways that you're going to achieve those goals. So you start out Let's say, for example, maybe you have rheumatoid arthritis and you say your goal is that you don't want to have rheumatoid arthritis anymore. And if you think, you know, if you're hearing me and you're thinking, well, I have rheumatoid arthritis, um, who is this girl to say, you know, that I could possibly get rid of this through changing my diet? Um, I also have rheumatoid arthritis and that's something I want to do a complete video on. But um, there are many illnesses that have been improved or eliminated through a plant-based diet. So if this is new news to you, please don't um, disregard it because it sounds too good to be true. So let's say your goal is you want to get rid of your rheumatoid arthritis. So, um, so a sub goal of that would be to maybe for, perhaps to take a 30 day vegan challenge. And then a sub um, goal of that would be your objective. So what am I going to do during this 30 day challenge? So you kind of get the idea. It's kind of goal writing 101 review. Um, but I find it very helpful. Um, I was just looking at my goals for the year about a week ago. And it feels really good to look through your goals and see that you've accomplished some of your goals. And then there are other things on there that maybe you kind of forgotten about. So it's a reminder that, um, for example, we want to put a deck on our, the back of our house. And that's one of the things we want to do this year. And I've kind of forgotten about it. Um, so revisiting those goals periodically to, to give yourself a little bit of kudos for the, the goals that you've accomplished. And then a reminder for the goals that maybe goals can be fleeting. We can have a desire or a dream. You know this sometimes 10 years can go by and you forget that that was ever even something that you wanted to do. So by writing it down, it helps you stay focused on that goal. And by coming up with those objectives underneath the goal, it helps you kind of figure out how to get from point A to point Z and figure out how to fill in those, the blanks in between. So having a plan is, is important. And I know in my last video, I was saying, you know, it's not that veganism isn't that hard. And I'm, this may kind of make it sound like, um, it's a little bit more, um, work, but I just find that you're setting yourself up for success when you, when you write goals. So that's, that's my tip. And, um, without those goals in a way, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because it's, it can be very easy to, um, dive into something like this without a plan and, um, and that will set you up for failure. So tip number two would be to make sure you've got some sort of support system in place. If you have um, a great support system in place, you know, family, maybe a husband that are going to support you and they think this is wonderful that you're taking steps to improve your health, that's great. Not everybody has that. 
However, you may need something more than that. And what I found when I began my 30 day challenge was finding people on YouTube who inspired me. I could go onto their channel every day, watch their videos, watch a video a day. I did it while I worked out. Um, and that really encouraged me. And I found that very, very crucial because I encountered my dental hygienist, for example, at a holistic dentist's office. When I confided in her that I'd become vegan, um, she was very negative. She, she was very negative. Um, I have a brother-in-law who's in the medical field and he was very concerned. He saw me eating all these bananas and he was very concerned, um, for my health that I was eating all these bananas and I was going to get potassium, you know, poisoning. Um, so by having those connections on YouTube where you go daily and you get the support, it just reminds you that what you're doing is a healthy thing, that it's a good thing. These are the reasons why. Um, and it will arm you with information, for example, that in order to get potassium poisoning, you have to eat 300 bananas within under a minute in order to get the lethal dose of potassium. So, the, you know, these are the types of things you will learn and you can arm yourself with so that when those types of things come up, you could just let it roll right over you. So that's my suggestion for support. There's a great deal of support within the com vegan community on YouTube. And, you know, everybody's going to be different. You might find somebody that's close to your age that inspires you. You might find somebody that's entertaining or creative or um, very scientific based. Everybody's different. You might find a, a mixture of those and find four or five different people on YouTube that you follow. And this way you will have that constant source of encouragement flowing into your life. Um, I think that's key. Third tip. Third tip is to always be prepared. So if you're home a lot, this really may not apply as much to you. But if you work, if you go to, you know, any family events, any work events, um, parties, these types of things, you've got to be prepared. So what I do is I bring my food to work. I bring my breakfast to work. I bring my lunch to work. Um, so it takes a little pre-planning. Um, it's not hard though. It's not hard. It was a kind of hard in the beginning. Uh, but now that I've got kind of a selection of recipes, go-to recipes, um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's not hard. And so, sorry, I'm distracted. Um, so yeah, if you're prepared, if you go, oh, I wanted to give an example early on my first Thanksgiving, I began, I began my vegan journey in July, my first Thanksgiving, um, I was prepared. I knew what I was going to eat. I brought my own food. I asked my mom if she wouldn't put butter and sour cream in the mashed potatoes. So I was prepared. But it was a special Thanksgiving. We were having a deep fried turkey and everybody was all excited about the deep fried turkey. And I'm a big turkey lover. I was a big turkey lover. So one, I didn't want to create drama and attention by not eating, not having any turkey. And two, I kind of wanted to taste the turkey. So I had a little bit of turkey. Um, but that's okay. Those, those moments are learning moments where you, you know, for example, I ate the turkey. It, it was fine. It really wasn't worth it. And so that was a learning moment for me. Um, and I've had, you know, I've had those off and on, not always with meat. I've probably only eaten meat maybe four times since I became vegan. And it was all in situations like that where I was at a party. I was at, you know, some type of an event where I wasn't fully prepared. So be prepared. Um, and then just little things like um, going back to your planning, you know, when you start um, kind of putting together your plan, include things like purging your kitchen, going through your refrigerator and your freezer and your pantry and getting rid of all the junk. Um, look into like, do you need new appliances? Are you going to need a blender? Are you going to need a rice maker? I love my rice maker. I got a $30 rice maker at Costco. It's nothing fancy. You can pay. I've seen rice makers for four and $500. So you don't have to spend that much. Um, you know, are you, do you need new knives? Do you need some nonstick cookware? Um, we didn't go crazy. We bought a rice maker. I think that's, that's it. So, but take a look at your, 
your tools and make sure you have what you need. So these are just different ways you can be prepared. And um, that's it for my tips, but I just want to add, I actually met a vegan today and I think it's was my first vegan encounter in a year. That's crazy. But I was so excited. We were both excited. We were talking and sharing stories and she used to be, I'm a volunteer coordinator and she used to volunteer for me and she's uh, been gone for a long time. And um, I was just, I was so glad that I, when I ran into her, I asked her, you know, how she was doing and why she looked so good. And she said, well, I made some changes to my diet. And normally I just would have kind of said, oh, that's great. But instead I said, really, tell me more. And she told me, you know, that she'd become vegan and you know, all the wonderful things, the outcomes from that. And it was just really cool. It was really cool to have that conversation with her. And she's quite a bit older than me. I'm 45, which I don't consider old, but I know um, 20 somethings might think, you know, 45 is old. And this woman, I don't even know how old she is. I don't want to, I don't want to guess in case I'm way off, but I'd say she's at least 10 or 15 years older than me, maybe older than that. And she looked great. She was telling me how much energy she had. Anyway, it was really cool to hear that story. And actually, the coolest thing that came out of that was she was telling me about a woman, that a friend that she has that's from Indonesia. And she owns a vegan restaurant there. But she has a home here. She vacations here where we live. And so she's going to hook me up with her. And we're going to get together. And maybe she's going to teach me how to cook some Indonesian food. So I'm excited about that. But don't ever think that you're too old to to heal. If you um, are sick, if you've been sick for a long time and you've just accepted that, don't. Um, If you've tried so many diets and so many whatever, seen doctors and you've just decided, you know, this is my burden to bear and given up on the idea that you could be well again, I just hope that um, you will hear me and that you will have the courage to try one more thing, and that is the vegan lifestyle. I don't know if it'll work for you. I don't know your story. I don't know your circumstances. Is the vegan diet a cure-all for all people? Probably not. Um, I truly believe, though, that it can help a lot of people in a lot of different ways, and I hope to talk about a lot of those different ways on this channel. And I hope to be a source of encouragement to you. Um, So don't think that you're too old or that you're too sick. Don't think that it's too hard or it's just impossible to give up these foods. It's really not. Uh, I was talking in my last video about how I enjoy my food. I eat. I eat many times throughout the day. I get my three meals in. I eat snacks. Today at work, we had a party. There was cake. Um, there were chocolates. And I was fine because I'd had my breakfast. I'd had my lunch. I had a bunch of fruit. Um, no problem. I didn't I didn't eat the cake. <laughs> There's been times when I've eaten the cake, and it's usually because I was underfed. I was undercarbed. So... There's really a lot that this vegan lifestyle can offer a lot of people. And like I said, I'm 45 and I feel young and strong and vital. And I just want to pass that along to others. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you for watching.